Okay, all right. This was a lesson that I was planning on teaching before all the craziness started, and these are the eight postures of Tong Long, all right? These are used as Qigong postures, body strengthening postures, and also they can have some combat application in them as well. If you notice, I do have my cheat sheet up. At the end of this, I would try to put a little JPEG up and hopefully you can pause it or you can somehow or another print it off and use it for your notes, okay? But anyway, these are the eight postures of Tong Long, okay? Now, we're gonna take a nice deep breath, all right? Our first one is our horse, okay? Also very similar to a bow drawing posture, all right? So, we're gonna reach up, we're gonna draw the bow, we're gonna rotate the arm. Now, as you do this, you don't want the shoulders up too high, you try to keep them nice and relaxed, okay? And then exhale. I'm gonna switch to the other side. I'm gonna draw my bow. And exhale, okay? Now, typically when you're training these, you would come back and rest in a horse in between each posture, okay? Or you would hold posture for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, to an hour. Then you could come back and rest. And then do your next hour, all right? Again, you set the time limit and do the best that you can, all right? But this is horse, also called chi ma shi. Get a deep breath in. Exhale. And back to center. Okay? So this is your mountain climbing stance. This is Ding Song Shi. Alright? So we take a deep breath in and we punch. Okay? Back to the center. Rotate, deep breath in. Again, these can be very static. You can sit in one posture for a long period of time, or you could have a flow pattern for your posture. Just keep your breathing nice and slow and steady. And exhale. Good. Okay. So, Ding San Shi, mountain climbing stance. One other way that you would see these in your crane mass, they can be very, very low, so it can work for your brain strength. All right, so let's go into the third posture. This is known as the sitting tiger stance, or let me look closer because my eyes are getting old, okay? So who she, all right, or sitting tiger stance. So we're gonna sit back onto our left leg here into a 60-40 stance, have some separation between our hands, and it's basically a ready posture, okay? I'm gonna rotate. Deep breath. Again, we could come back to a horse in between postures. Or you could flow. Make sure you're sitting back on that back leg, more of a 60-40 stance, also known as a back bow. And then one more. Okay? And then back. And number four is one of my favorites sitting coil stance, or also called a so pan shi. All right, so we take a deep breath in from our horse. We're gonna twist and hold. All right, back to the center. Rotate to the other side. Okay, just like I showed with other qigongs, you can rise up out of your stance and then drop. Or you can stay low when you turn. Good oh. drop. Okay. Good. And back to center. Okay. That's posture number four again: sitting coil or so pan chi. And again, I know I'm butchering the Chinese. So Hold me to account for it. Okay? Now, the next stance, number five, this is known as the false empty stance or chi chi. Okay? We take a deep breath. As we exhale, we're going to have one hand pointed forward and it's more in a relaxed posture. It could be similar to mantis, but you just want the wrist bent. Okay? And you sit back on your back leg. Okay? Now, as I switch, 
right? So very similar to a single whip, okay, for those of you that do Tai Chi. All right? So one hand is pointed forward, your right hand is forward. Switch your left hand out, point towards your ears. Left hand towards your hair, right hand towards your whip. All right, now when I cross, I switch. So hands at 90 degree angles, false empty. So, she, she, false empty stance. This is our sit stance, this is known as a tiger head stance, okay? So we are going to, or I'm sorry, um, um, hotoshi, all right? Again, I know I'm messing this up, but shift forward, fist to elbow, hand forward, and a fist, all right? We're gonna switch to the other side, and I'm just rolling my hands. Exhale as I sink. So deep breath in. Exhale as I sink. Again, we could be coming back to our basic course, and then shifting into our stance if we like. Okay? Or simply flowing back and forth. All right? But this is known as the tiger head stance or hotoshi. All right? Now, number seven, this is known as a falling changes stance or ta chi shi, all right? So we take a deep breath, we're gonna be in more of a 60-40 this time. With our lead foot, the right foot's forward, so our right hand is low, and we sit, so very similar to heaven and earth posture that you've seen before, all right? Now if I wanna just flow from one to the other, I simply shift, cross my hands, and over. Again, this posture set is meant to have a horse in there, Hopefully you've got time that you can add a lot of extra postures into your stance training. More horse, more better. But again, if we have to flow, we flow. If I were to come back to my horse, I may sit in alert palm, I may sit in a simple horse, all right? And then again, transition into my posture. Okay? And back to center. All right, last one, all right? This is known as winter chicken stance. All right, or hum chi shi. All right, so now we're going to shift to our right. We're going to crane our right leg, big side hammer fist, and the left hand rests next to the elbow. All right, we're going to step down and switch. Again, make sure I'm being a little sloppy right here. Point that knee in the direction that your fist is pointed in. A little sloppy on my last one. Again, we can set an horse, then go right into our posture. To our horse, right into the posture. And take a rest. Again, these are the eight postures of Tong Wong. Hopefully this helps out just a little bit. We'll definitely work on it some more. If there's any questions, thoughts, comments, text me, email me, and I'll make sure we go over some of the applications and things like that, or maybe break one of the patterns down. All right? Good? Awesome. There you go.